the dark skin savage, my neighbor. Hey, man. So the next video we got, see the channel? We got Don Flamingo, the heavenly demon. Okay. Isn't this nigga on One Piece? Yeah, yeah, I remember this nigga. Bro, I still never finished One Piece, bro. I'm still rocking, bro. Ain't this nigga like strong as a bitch? But anyway, man, we ain't gonna waste no time. Let's get to. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most anticipated yet riskiest trial of all time. I ain't even gonna lie, I'm gonna your luck with this one. Oh, fuck it. We do this for the people. For the people who hate this started. Coming in at a whopping 10 feet tall. You got exactly what it's good. And with so many crimes committed, I can't even name them all right now. The Heavenly Demon, Don Quixote Do Flamingo. So, y'all already know how this goes. The evidence is on deck, ready to be presented. <laughs> go ahead, grab some popcorn or something to snack on. <laughs> oh, fuck. Without further ado. Bro, how do they be finding these shit? What is spoiler is that? Don Quixote Do Flamingo. One of the seven warlords of the sea and the king of Dressrosa. His name is feared throughout all the seas and his joy. Nah, I don't think that is Why did it walk like that? But how did the heavenly demon become one of the biggest kingpins in the world? Well, we have to go back a good 33 years in the past. Now, Do Flamingo was a celestial dragon. Now, you look like Zoro, bro. What a celestial dragon is. Allow me to explain. These are the world nobles, aka the biggest dickheads in the fucking world. Ugh. 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 Come on, they are hiding it. Look at them. They literally have dicks on their heads. They're <laughs> dickheads. Look at that. All <laughs> oh, stop for ass. Check, check that shit on it. Hey, now, say homie. Do Flamingo's father decided one day, everybody, I have an announcement to make. I would like to go live with the peasants. <laughs> Blasphemy! Now, this is a very big deal because the Don Quixote family are world nobles, living in the holy land of Marijuana, basically motherfucking Beverly Hills. But Do Flamingo's dad decided, I want to go live with the regular niggas, because why not? And this is some of the stupidest shit you could possibly do because everybody hates celestial dragons because they enslave the people. They're assholes. They don't even consider themselves human because they are the top of society. So the whole family ends up leaving and giving up their celestial dragon status. And obviously, little Duffy wasn't good with it. Bro was already complaining. Little Nigga was like, Daddy, yeah, where are the slaves? Why do I have all this peasant clothing? Oh, calm down, son. We're going to be living a simple, peaceful life now. Bullshit. Now, it's very clear that Do Flamingo's dad doesn't have an ounce of evil in his body, like the other celestial dragons. He's a simple man, but an ignorant one, and he was about to get hit with a reality check. So the next day, him and Duffy walk into town. So his dad walks up to the vendor and says, I want to buy some apples. So the vendor's like, apple, oh, tell me home, brother. You must be new here. But this dumbass nigga ends up saying, oh, yes, me and my family are from Marie Wall. You what? I so you everybody know. shook. They like, what the fuck? If you're from Marie Wall, you a celestial dragon, ain't you? And this dumbass nigga is like, oh, no, no, no. We, we used to be celestials. But we're human now. And then it didn't help that Don Flamingo just started going off on everybody, calling everybody peasants and shit. So they was cooked. Because later that night, they burned down their damn house. They just trying to kill these niggas. They oh, are Salem shit. Witch Charles type shit. Find the Celestials. I'm a top of nigga. I don't care. We gonna watch this yeah, shit. Boy, I ain't seen this boy. <laughs> Y'all niggas, y'all niggas is different with that shit. Well, I was still enjoying it, nigga. Just the fact that I was sitting there before to go watch it, nigga. Cause a dumbass daddy was so fucking ignorant, thinking that a celestial dragon. Ain't no other guy that died, bro. And this man, Do Flamingo, was shook. As a kid, this man went from the top of the world to the fucking gutter. Him and his brother got damn. Damn. And no money. Why people just laughing at him? Look at this bad bitch and a nigga with a panda head. Be damned if I see a nigga with a panda head laughing at me. Like, look at little bro. This is terrible. And his mama ended up getting sick, and she ended up dying. So at this point, Don't Fool Me Go rightfully so hates his dad. As he should. This nigga's an idiot. You broke, you sick, and now your wife dead. It can't get no worse, right? 
Damn, what? Finding them. And I don't even know if I can say this word on YouTube, so I'm just gonna believe it. They <laughs> them. These people start going off on them. I can't do not bro right here saying, hey, they're not. <laughs> Still drag it to them. Yeah, the people who treat commoners like garbage. So at this point, this was the breaking point for Dopey. Everybody just stops and just looks at him. They could feel this little nigga's anger from down there. Then Rob just started talking like a rabbit dog. And then it happened. The man unlocked his conqueror's hockey. And this little nigga knocked every single person out of his door. Damn. 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 Now you see, here's the thing with this. I'm not counting this as a charge. This is an act of self-defense. They hung his ass, hung his daddy ass, and his brother. So even though this man broadcasts that he got murder on his mind, he getting let off the hook with this one. So after that life-altering incident, Dofi goes to this run-down ass shack and ends up meeting this nasty ass snot-nosed hunter back Fat motherfucker! Oh my god, I hate this nasty ass yes, nigga Trapple. So this nasty SOB says, So Trapple gives him a gun and the Ito Ito no me. And this man, Doflamingo, did not waste no time. He had murder on his mind. He went back to his dad and said, fuck you, old nigga, and blew his brains out. Damn. Murdered his own father in cold blood right in front of his brother. And this right here is a good old case of patricide. Murdering your own father. So after Dolphamingo murdered his father, he actually brought his head back to Marie's wall to try to get his status back, but they said, hell not leave, peasant. So he ends up going back to Treble, and him, Diamante, Pika, and Virgo said, <clears throat> Let's glaze this little nigga to the ends of the earth. And from that day, the Don Quixote family was born. And they was not playing no games. These four niggas would do anything for Dofi. Take for example, one day, Triple finds Dofi beat up. So he asked him, Oh my god, he's king, what happened? Ah man, some guys ripped me up. I wish they were dead. <laughs> okay. These are the five dudes that jumped him. And Trouble comes up to him and says, You're the guys who ripped up Dofi, right? <laughs> We were just teasing him, that's all. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. We were just teasing him, I swear to you! Oh! Yeah. They was not playing games. You're nigga! <laughs> you wanna do that? Yeah. You're done! If he wanted your turf, guess what? Get the packet! This man took racketeering to another level as a 10 year old at that. And this was the wildest one. Diamante finds bro and says, Oh my god, he's king, what happened to your knee? Nah, man, I just tripped on a crack in the road. Oh. And where's this crack exactly? Oh and I kid you not, this nigga Diamante finds the crack in the road and says, fuck it, I might as well level the whole town. So that's what they did. They blew up the whole Damn! Right boy, the Don Quixote family was feared. Niggas cleared the streets when they saw Dopey walking. Hide your kids, hide your wife, ain't nobody safe. That's good, Dopey truck. And he was Is a rapper. That's crazy. Patricide. Racketeering, mass destruction, multiple counts of you. Anybody yeah. acting like that, bro, nigga, you yeah. that's it, that nigga. Yeah. Yo, yeah, all right, nigga, you know, I now present to you Exhibit B, Joker. We now fast forward 30 years later, and at this point in time, Don Flamingo is the most influential underworld broker in the game. And he is also one of the seven warlords of the sea. And before he became a warlord, and they froze his bounty... I'm curious, I want to know the story how he became one of the seven. Warlord? Yeah, Warlord. God knows how high that shit would be. But anyways, we now focus our attention to Mock Town, and specifically Bellamy. Now, as we know, before this even happened, Bellamy fought Luffy and got absolutely embarrassed. One shot it to be precise. It looks like Bellamy and his crewmate, who I ain't gonna lie, I forgot his name. I think his name is like Sarquisa or Sharkisha or some shit, I don't know. But it looks like they're fighting each other and having a falling out. But that is not the case at all. 
Because you see this nigga Dopey sitting in the corner patrolling them with his drink drink crew. And this man is pissed off for obvious reasons. Because this nigga Bellamy is trash. He got one shot by a human condom. And it was under Dopamingo's banner. The Bellamy Pirates were under him. So obviously that is a hit to his reputation. So Dopey said, fuck it, you useless piece of shit. And controls old boy like a puppy and slays him. Hey, what <laughs> makes this kind of sad? Let me give y'all a flashback real quick. Back when Bellamy was a straight young bull, bro used to look up to Don Flamingo. He wanted to be just like him. I don't know why I'm bro is a terrible influence. It must have been the drip of the ore or some shit. But Don Flamingo was his inspiration. But when they first met, Don Flamingo clearly stated, if you ever lose under my flag, my Jolly Roger, I'm gonna beat your ass and make you unemployed. And well, the rest is history. But of course, Bellamy's still begging like, please, just give me one more chance, my glorious king. But Dolphy looked at him like, Bellamy, how much you think my fit costs? Uh, 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 30,000? 56 million berries, broke ass nigga. <laughs> So this man, Dopey, got up and walked away and said, My fit costs more than your whole bounty. And I have absolutely no use for broke ass niggas. It slices this nigga! Bro just assaulted his most notorious glazer while firing him at the same time. Well, ain't that a hell of a way to get fired on your day off? But we really don't even get to see a glimpse of how strong this dude is until the Summit War, aka the grand opening for the greatest donut shop of all time, Crispy Aces. So before the war even started, you already knew Bro was on time. I mean, look at this bloodthirsty ass nigga, Bro hitting the Uzi tongue. <laughs> But the first victim of this man's bloodlust was none other than Lil Lord's big ugly ass boy. So Lil Lord's is just stomping on niggas, trying to make oh, okay, so, them no oh, nut. But okay, you were, is it talking about before? I mean, because this is this seems like this kind of like an after. Yeah, it's thirty years later. But this big boy ends up getting jumped in brutal fashion too. Nah, so it started off with Kuma, which I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was about to roast the shit out this man, but I just caught up on the manga. And after reading that backstory, I, I don't wanna roast you, bro. So even though you yeah, that, that, like yeah, an egg with some damn chicken legs, <laughs> you off the hook, my nigga. So yeah. anyways, Kuma shots the shit out this nigga at this man or spazzing. And this man was so cooked, but he said, hell no, I got to check it out. So he is a for His Dopey origins Dopey must have been crazy. Really, nigga? Yeah. But bro is up to showing the whole wall, but Brody ain't hit shit. Cause you see this, the flying thing. Yeah. <laughs> then he talking shit to him in the air too. What's wrong, pussy? The donut man is right there. And you knew Orange was cooked because Dopey made this man see his backstory. That's how you know your screen top over. So Dopey made no amputated bro. Cut that big ass uh. leg clean off. And he's just laughing his ass off and saying, This is what you get for being the triplest Neanderthal. And then Gecko Moore is hog back. Yeah, 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 and it was right. Yeah, yeah, was yeah, murder, yeah. Little Lords, but Don Flamingo was not done racking up these murder charges. So later on, fucking Humpty Dumpty ends up pulling up and saying, Don Flamingo, fuck you in that feather ass coat, nigga. So Bro runs at him and tries to swing at him, but he stops. And Dopey just started talking shit, saying, What's wrong, Bart Buffalo? Are you too mesmerized from all my sauce? And y'all already know what he did. He hit Bro with his strings. He wasn't moving an inch. So all these other dudes end up running up. And yeah, um, Massacre was about to ensue. Bro right here runs up. He gets his balls chopped off. And Dumpy just started puppeteering this man and making him kill oh, his own man. This is just tragic. Uh -huh. So despicable. You made this man kill his own man. That's fucked up, bro. And while Bro is massacring these dudes, this man gives off one of the greatest speeches I've ever heard. And everything he said in this speech is 100% fast. Now, obviously, I can't play the audio, but I'm going to text it out for us. We're going to do a quick English project real quick, so here we go. Pirates are evil. The Marines are righteous? Mm. These terms have always changed throughout the course of history. Kids who have never seen peace and kids who have never seen war have different values. Mm. Those who stand at the top determine what's wrong and what's right. Mm. This very place is a neutral ground. Justice will prevail, you say? Of course it will. Whoever wins the war becomes justice. <laughs> 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 
Look at him. Even though he's pure evil, he is actually speaking legitimate facts, and you yeah. can't deny it. What? This, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Dolphy just basically had a drip off a crocodile for the rest of the war. So I'm gonna just translate this whole conversation for you. Bad nigga win the war. He gets to control everything. If you're bored, my nigga, I got a proposition for you. You got your, I got your. You get money, I get money. So what you say? Tag team? Man, fuck you, you me. Shut the fuck up. Oh, nah, shut the fuck up with that fake ass gold claw. I know you got that shit on Timu. Fuck you, and fuck you too. You tobacco loving, chain smoking son of a bitch. Now, most of this might like, sadly happen off screen, but hey, only want to know how long this soft talk went on board. So, fast forward all the way to the end of the war, and you just see explosions in the background. And the reason why is because the Flamingo was jumping this 60% body fat because he basically had an assassination order. So, it's jump to see explosions in the background. And the reason why is because the Flamingo was jumping this 60% body fat because he basically had an assassination order from somebody. High, but Moria somehow lived. I, I don't know how, but it don't matter, nigga. That's still attempted murder. Now, it's time to move three years later. And at this time, Doflamingo's criminal enterprise is thriving. This nigga is anime El Chapo. And I mean, this man got everything from arms filling and gun running to massive drug labs. One in Punk Hazard and one in Dress Rosa producing smile fruits for Kaido and had none other than Caesar Clown cooking that shit up. And I kid you not, these smile fruits was fucking niggas up. For example, take a look at Wano. Smile fruits hit Wano like crack in the 80s. This man is solely responsible for supplying these niggas to cause a drug epidemic. Look how this shit hit neighborhoods in Wano, bro. They thought these hoes was just regular apples. Hell no. These hoes was late. And everybody was eating them. Even the kids. They lost all emotions except for smile and laughter. They basically ate Joker Venom. Yeah, hell no. Nah. The Don Quixote family needs to change their name to the Don Quixote Cartel expeditiously. So now we end up catching up with Dolphy at one of his Dolphy parties. Because you know what they say? There ain't a party like a Dolphy party. And he gets a call from Punk Hazard saying, So this man took extreme measures and basically said, What the fuck? Do you think that's my problem? I got bitches here. Oh my god, Dolphy, come to the water! <laughs> Hold on, ladies. The party's just getting started. Motherfucker, love the island. I'll send somebody to pick up Jesus' bitch ass later. Now, sadly, Doflamingo's plan to blow up the lab failed miserably because of Caesar's dumbass. So this man was so pissed off, he said, Fuck it, niggas can't get shit. I'm gonna do it myself. So this man went swing all the way to the top. So later on, while G5 basically has the island under control, this man, Doflamingo, flies in, saucy as fuck, and just hits a superhero landing. And everybody in G5 is stuck. They like, oh my god, that trail! So aura is definitely And look at this 10 god, foot yeah. nigga towering over these midgets. Nigga, fuck being a drunk <laughs> lord, go to the league! And don't be a big <laughs> like time. Bro said, Did he go off? Hey. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. This man knocked out damn near every single soldier with Conqueror's hockey. Didn't even lay a hand on him. Just hit him with a sauce. But he wasn't done. He ends up webbing up all the other Marine guns and made them oh, all aim at each other. And this man elegantly made them all shoot each other while hitting this saucy ass Oh my man, god. That's a light skin ass bull right here. I don't know how many people, but he did it in the saucy <laughs> So then his one marine is begging for his life. He's like, I have a family. Nigga, fuck your family. They should be ashamed of your broke ass. I know you don't get no paper. I know your bitch be fucking up the niggas behind your back. You fucking hot. So what got so bad? Smoker had to intervene. But my God, this man got washed. Look at his sorry. You can't even land a hit. This is why you're not making Admiral, buddy. Look at him. Bro, try to put him in the dick. Don't feel like that. I'm like, whoa, slow down there, you freaky fuck. And this is how you know this man, Smoker, is washed. This man already breathing heavy as hell, and they only been fighting for 30 seconds. But then some of Smoker's men ended up coming to try to bail him out, but bro tried to be chivalrous and save him. But ends up getting met with razor sharp strings and ends up getting flung. And after Smoker got cooked, Duffy just got real disrespectful. He sat on bro, grabbed his face like.
like your mom about to beat your ass and was about to kill him. But Smoker ended up getting the bailout of the <laughs> century. Because Al Kiji pulled up and said, all right, big dog, we're going to have to stop. And you see, Do Flamingo was a smart man because he knows he can't win this fight. You think he's going to fight a formal animal and get embarrassed? Hell no. Nah. Bro said, I'll take my leave. I got bigger fish to fry. And that fish, of course, is Law and the Straw Hats. And especially Law. Because these niggas got generational beef. The Dodo Beach Drive. Yeah, so whoever that nigga was. Exhibit B. Assault and battery. Murder. Mass murder. Arms trafficking. Drug manufacturing. Possession and trafficking. <laughs> Exhibit C. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for Exhibit C. Corazon. So. There is a reason why Law has mad beef with Dofi. And it all started 16 years ago. Now, when Law first came to Doflamingo, he was very sick. What happened to Doflamingo's brother? And his whole yeah. family is dead. Because the world government decided to murder everybody in that town because they all had that disease. So they raccoon city that bitch. Now, Law didn't have that much time left to live. But Dofi kept him around and said, there's a chance that you might be able to live if you get this devil fruit called the op op fruit. Because you'll be able to heal yourself. Also, the fruit's busted. So Law ended up sticking around. With him, doing some piracy, robbing some banks, and of course, pension bodies. And Dopey's main objective was basically to groom Law to become his right hand man. Now, here's where everything goes to shit. Corazon, aka Doflamingo's brother, Rosinante, basically told oh, him, okay. hey little nigga, you got D in your name. And if Dopey figures brother. out you got yeah. D in your name, he gonna kill your little ass. Because if you got the big D in your name, you are a mortal enemy of the Celestial Dragons. And also, Corazon is a narc. <laughs> He is a undercover marine trying to take down his evil brother. So you can kind of see what this is. These two are basically opposites and the what ifs of a tragic outcome. Don Flamingo wants to burn the fucking world, because fuck everybody. And Corazon wants to do good in the world and basically stop his brother because he's a crazy bastard. So Corazon ends up taking Law around for like six months. Yeah, I kind of figured that he was going to be a good guy. And getting him away from Dofi. Now, while this was going on, Dofi called him and said, Now with this in mind, Corazon decided, let's just go steal it so we can cure your disease and go into hiding. So Corazon gets the information from the Navy to where the fruit actually is. So later on, they end up getting to the island and Corazon ends up stealing the fruit. But at the expense of getting shot the fuck up. So after he got shot up but somehow survived, he made Law eat the fruit. And after that, he told him, this is some important intel I need you to get to the Navy that's on this island right now. So while Law went to go search for a Marine to give the note to, he found one, but the wrong one. Because the Marine he gave it to was Virgo. Dopey's undercover agent in the Marines. So Law brought Virgo all the way back to Carzone, and Virgo was like, what the fuck? Corazon, oh you knock ass nigga! And Virgo ended up reading the intel and pulled his face in. And Virgo did not hold back. He beat the shot of Corazon. And then after that, he beat the ass. Well, so then after they get their ass beat, Dofi arrives on the island. And this man is dripped out of his mind and pissed. Because his own brother was a rat. And Do Flamingo knew something was off too. Because those six months that Corazon was gone, the Navy was off their ass. And every time Corazon was there, the Navy was there. So it was all over for his little bro. Dofi ends up setting up this birdcage over the island so nobody can leave. And he just went on a rampage until he found his brother, killing literally anybody and everybody that was in his way. So later on, when the family finally finds Corazon, they shot the hell out of this man. He the rat piss out of him and play oh, baseball with his back. Oh, oh, Yo, he is getting and fucked. This, was just horrible. this man Gladys went to his body and said, So after they jumped him, Don Flamingo came up to him and said, Corazon, my baby brother, a Fucking nerd. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Corazon, you know how hard it is to kill your own flesh and blood again. And my God, it, it pains me to do it. 
But do me a favor, baby brother, and say hello to Pop Squash. Damn. This man, Doflamingo, Flamingo, dumped about 10 bullets in this nigga and murdered his own little brother in cold blood. Damn. Exhibit C wrap up. Piracy. Grand larceny. Murder. Mass murder. Branch. He didn't put one bullet in that nigga. Exhibit C. Put like 10 in that nigga. It is now time for Exhibit D, the usurpation of Dress Rosa. Now, Don Flamingo, as we know, is the king of Dress Rosa, but how did he become king? Yeah, <laughs> you might need to sit back for this one. So, 10 years before the present, Dress Rosa was a very peaceful nation that knew no types of war and had an honest king named King Riku. Now, the people loved King Riku. They glaze this man to the end of the earth. But sadly, this will change in a single night. So, on that tragic night, Don Flamingo flew to the king's private quarters. So he pulled up, whipped this nigga up, and said, Don't even try calling for help, or I will slit your fucking throat right now. So Don't be basically explained to the king that this land, matter of fact, this whole country belongs to me. And I finally come back to take back what's rightfully mine. So the thing is that the Don Quixote family used to rule over Dress Rosa about a good 800 years ago. Till they abandoned it and became celestial dragons. And now Dopey is back to claim what's his. Now he gave the king an ultimatum. He basically told him, we can either A, I will take over this entire kingdom and kill everybody, or B, you can buy my kingdom for 10 billion berries. So what's it gonna be no, no. Genocide or run your pockets? So obviously the king had no choice. He had to run his pockets, but he ain't have no money. So for the sake the of the king, he had to run his pockets, but. He <laughs> said, but. But, man, he got yeah, the butt of the like yeah. <laughs> yeah. He ain't have enough money. So for the sake of the kingdom, he had to send out his soldiers and beg the people for money. And obviously the people are confused. They like, fucking Riku, we just paid our taxes a month ago. Yeah, man, this is some bullshit. I can't even pay my child support. I just got pregnant the other day. How am I supposed to take care of my child? So he just had to get on the big screen, get on all fours, and say, every dime they had because they trusted their king because he ain't ever done them wrong so everything seems to be fine they paid off do flamingo and they should be scot-free right in the distance you see this man king riku coming at them on horse so obviously oh, the soldiers think, oh, king riku, we got the money you didn't have to come all the way out here but this man king riku is crying and saying Run away! i beg your pardon and the king starts slaying people and blowing shit up. And you already know what's going on. In the shadows, Do Flamingo is controlling this man and making him kill his people. So Dofi didn't tell the king, but there was an option C, and that was to do both genocide and royal huts. And the king wasn't the only one getting control. Dofi decides to control the soldiers as well and make them slaughter everybody. And they didn't spare nobody. Look at this. This is a mama and her son. And this nigga said, pay your taxes. Look at this poor couple. This brother just got done baking at the bakery with all this cake. Just for this man King Riku to come and blow up their backs out. And this went on for the whole night. Now here's the part that's going to make you sick. Don Flamingo and his crew are just up here watching this. And when the time was right, he said, all right, boys, it's these niggas hop down and knock out these soldiers, getting everybody's attention. And Do Flamingo says, Greetings, everyone. My name is Don Quixote Do Flamingo, and I've come to save you. Wow. What? To save you. Now, this is a straight Homelander ass move. 
Rome made the king and Look his guards kill their own people it's just to come like and save the day. And this was a tragic part. He controlled the king and said, come on over. Make sure you look good for the camera. So bro shuts down and smashed the shit out this nigga on live TV in front of everybody. And just off of that, this man just committed That's some PR smart PR shit, PR though. Because the people are like, oh, oh my God, he, he saved us. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. And they chanted this man's name throughout the night while hoisting the king's body in the air like a trophy. And that night, Doflamingo usurped the throne and became the king of Dress Rosa. Now, after Doflamingo became king, he started to do some even more evil shit. For an example, using sugar to turn damn near half the population into toys and making their families forget about them, force these tantata little niggas to basically be slaves and work in his drug lab, had some of the old soldiers become gladiators and force them to basically kill each other. And apparently he did something with Viola. I don't even know if this is true, but a lot of people say it is. So uh, I'm just leaving leave this here. Wrap up. Black metal. Genocide. You search. Brainwashing. Slaving. Sixty-eight. It is the big E. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for our final exhibit. Exhibit E. e. The heaven. Yeah, I don't think we ever went this far, bro. Exhibit E. Green Green just off the coast of Dress Rosa. And we are observing a trade. Well, what was supposed to be a trade? Between Law and Do Flamingo. Now, Law took Caesar as hostage after Punk had him to get some leverage on Do Flamingo and make him leave the warlords so he would lose his navy immunity. And also, Do needs Caesar to make some more of his smile product. But tragically for Law, this plan failed miserably because Do Flamingo was two steps ahead. Because this man oh, used his bro. celestial dragon yeah, leverage right. on the government and falsified a whole story about how we left the warlords when in reality he did. And he had this man Law shook. He ain't know what the fuck to do. His whole plan blew up in his face. So Law was like, ah shit. Well, I'm just gonna help. So this man Law got the running while Do Flamingo was hawking his ass down. And it didn't help that Pushy Taurus ass was here trying to drop meters on the nigga. And this man Law was fighting for his life in this jungle. Look at Dopey come behind him. Nigga, nigga sniped him. Brought this man Law to his knees. Then he came down and told him, I that you ain't going nowhere, little nigga. I've been waiting to kill your ass for 13 motherfucking years. And look at Dopey, bro. This nigga think he's Spider Man. Out here just whipping shit up and throwing it at him. And I don't even know how long this game of tag lasted for because we know how that dress most of facing was good god but anyway bro they ended up getting to the beach and while Duffy's chasing law he ends up hearing a loud ass scream and it was from the sunny from chopper not me and brook being loud as shit and Duffy just looked over there with a big old smile on his face like oh law you done fucked up now so this man flew over to the ship Hosted up on him, and Duffy was ready to make the sunny the Titanic. But out of nowhere, here comes final form Sip Sanji out here yelling at this man like, Stay away from my Nami Swan! <laughs> oh, come on, she not gonna let you hit! <laughs> Duffy did not take this fight seriously at all. Look at him, he got this big ass grin on his face. Then this man threw out his attack, backflip for style points, and told him, What's up there, buddy? Let's not burn the touch. This shit costs more than your life. <laughs> Bro, had this man Sanji cooked in one hit. But Sanji started thinking to himself while he was free falling. Oh, if I beat Do Flamingo, now you saw I might let me hit. <laughs> so this man Sanji. Get yeah. up! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But Doki just put out his hand and said, Time out. Bro, had this man Sanji just stuck in the air. And Bro just looked at him and told him, The fuck I just told you about fucking up my coat. I already told your ass this shit comes more than your life. So this man charged up his overheat and he was ready to kill Sanji. But right when Duffy was about to hit him, there come Law with the boom. And he ended up teleporting Duffy away from Sanji. And you could tell this man Duffy had the intent to kill this man. Because he had to blow the attack out and it landed all the way back to Dress Rosa and just cut a building in half. Yeah, buddy, that's attempted murder. You tried to put this six, six feet under. So this man Law had to take this miniature big back big mom as a hostage so a straw has to escape. But later on, they end up having a standoff on this bridge and i kid y'all not this was not a fight this was a sheep coming to be slaughtered i mean look at this man law he running for his life again my couple of mingos just cooking my hurt your ass and yelling at him like what's wrong pussy i thought you was gonna spit back the car but you still 
Well, Law at least tried something. He tried to throw all the debris at him, but Duffy just cut it to pieces. Then Law tries to come behind him, but Duffy hits him perfect. Harry dies the attack, then shatters this man's jaw with his foot, and the beating just got worse from here. This was like a parent whooping their kid's ass for being disobedient as hell. I mean, look at this. He came down and kicked the shit out of him again, and then just started spamming bullet strings at him. Even took out his legs. Bro was literally rolling around screaming at the game. <laughs> and this wasn't even the worst part. Those flamingos. Go walk up to him, lifted up his hand, and he slapped this nigga across just Rosa. God damn. Oh god, this was probably this man's most savage moment in the whole world. Law is already cooked. But Don Flamingo decided, remember when you had lead poisoning law? Let's see if you remember how that felt. And he started dumping bullets up and him. And look at his freaky ass nigga. I've been looking the blood. Hell no. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna lie, Law is getting away with fucking death. We'll see later. So now we're fast forward to that man. Oh, that's a good one. Until Sugar got knocked out and all the toys turning to people again. And the whole population turns on the Flamingo because they realize, wait a minute, this nigga's an asshole. He turned half the population into toys brainwashed. Like, how does this nigga keep dodging death like that? This nigga out of here. So then the one-legged demon heroes came in and cut off this man's head. And everybody's in shock. Everybody like, oh my god. Don't he just died to a side character? Side? Niggas thought it was gonna be that easy. Yeah, this man can use straight clone juice. So he got behind heroes and kicked the roof off of the He kicked the roof off the Yeah. Hey, here come Luffy trying to be a hero. We can know he's a terrorist. I'm just trying to hit that man with that jet cap. But the clone came behind him. But he was back out. Then Luffy looked down, cocked him back his fist, and told him, Get the fuck off my property, bro. Then Luffy so hard, probably made him even more stupid in the head. So he made him throw everybody off the cliff. And at this point, it was over for everybody in Just Rosa. This man set up the party, oh, yeah. got it on the big screen, and said, People of Just Rosa. I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know this now. I really fucking hated all you stinky ass peasants ever since I came to this fucking island. Now all you broke ass niggas can go fuck yourselves. So let's play a game. If you kill any of these bitch ass niggas on this board, especially that long nosed Pinocchio nappy ass, <laughs> I will make you rich. What is it for me? I also have 24 hours before I destroy this fucking island. Yeah. So this man, Dovey, sent the island into chaos. This man started another genocide just because he got pissed off. So now it was finally time for the Malice at the Palace One Piece edition. Law and Luffy versus Don Flamingo. Oh, I forgot. And Bellamy's here. Bruh. Bro was emotionally abusing this man the entire arc. We all know that Bellamy's this man's biggest glazer. So Duffy decided to use this man as a puppet. Look at Luffy. Both trying to kick him. And Duffy just blew Bellamy's face as a human shield. He was straight up abusing this nigga. <laughs> then look at him. He put Bro on some strings and said, Dance, nigga. Go fuck up that walking condom for me. But Law and Luffy was just mad at Duffy for just watching him in that chair. So they hit that man with that Red Hawk team up. And Luffy really punched the shit out of this man. This is the first time you see Bro actually hurt. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hell, thinking in his head like, what the fuck on him? What just did he get hit by this nigga in the broke ass sandals? No, that way, Duffy said, hell no. Nah. He was getting away with that one, buddy. So Bro started spamming and bullishering that Luffy. So his stupid ass flying again. Then he decided to snap the shit out of all. Bro said, set your bitch ass down. Before I beat the shit out you again, boy. Then he hit this man. That nigga said, boy. Oh, What the fuck is Zoro? So Duffy can lose his face in again, separating ah. human law and making Luffy fight Bellamy. And my god, law. This man took probably the worst beating in these cities right here. Just like oh my god, god, I thought the last beating. Then makes them both somersault, crashing into the ground. Everybody is in the oh. Another case where law should be dead in this part. But this next part is really where law should be fucking dead. Duffy walks up to him, puts the gun up to him, and tells him, I like the broke ass nigga you are. Then just started shooting this man over and over and over and over again. He shot so many bullets.
Oh, oh yeah, but nigga, he's not dead because of that thing he ate. Oh, yeah, that 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 shit that helped, like it heals him. <laughs> this man rolls for the dead like the Undertaker. And you want to know how this man survived that attack? He his rap. His organs together with his strength. Think I gave himself surgery mid-fight. So Duffel Migo is standing over Law, about to smash this man's head in and get a fatality. Oh, oh man. Man. Luffy bailing out Law. Nigga, how many times is Law gonna get bailed out this fucking arm? Like, dog, you should be dead. This nigga Law gotta be a cat or some shit. <laughs> 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 so here comes that Nika Luffy himself. Bro, kicked off them dusty, busted, broke-ass sandals and transformed into this fat-ass boy. So obviously, when Duff Flamingo first saw Gear 4, he was laughing his ass off. Blue was like, what the fuck is this? Am I supposed to be scared of you, nigga? You turned into a balloon. <laughs> Luffy was not playing games. He punched the living shit out of This man flew all the way down to the streets. And I ain't gonna lie, Duff was trying to get into a walk. God damn. So this man, Duff Flamingo, went to his life. Resort. He said, fuck it. I'm already destroyed the country, so I might as well turn everything into strength. So he ends up using this awakening and destroying buildings of just screaming at him. But Luffy still did not care. He flew over to this man and hit him with that Rio Bazooka and Doki went to fly and just hit him in the mouth. Well, this fight should have been over right here. But yeah, it should have been. The block kick did it. Because Luffy ran out of time on Gear Force. The man literally <laughs> took away right before he was about to finish him. And this gave Doki enough time to recover. And this man was more pissed off than ever. He went on a rampage looking for this man Luffy. Right so he found him in the pot. It got to the point where if you got in this man's way, you died. <laughs> Then he started moving a bird cage in closer. He was about to wipe the whole island off the map. So then here come the owner uh, trying to do something against this 69 guy. And I'm not even going to waste no time on this. Y'all already know what happened. She got beat the fuck out. I don't even know why she tried this. Why like, should no. You want her to get your ass smashed in her? Yeah. Look at this, bro. This started hanging her by the street. Oh, no, nigga. My nigga, this is harassment. Nah, buddy. <laughs> You're done after this. We know you did it. The allegations <laughs> have to be true, especially after this scene. You was not like us, buddy. This is not like it is. And then you tried to make Rebecca kill her dog. Now, this man, don't let me go. It's pure evil. This man is a sick ass nigga. So, thank God Luffy finally came over and he said, Hell nah, your ass is going to jail. So, he charged up that King Kong gun and yelled at that nigga, Take your freaky ass to Impel Down and blasted this man, don't be crazy. So after this, they locked this man up in the depths of Impel Down. And this man should never get out again. Well, let's be honest with ourselves. Sometimes sooner or later, this nigga's getting out. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, that shit don't lie, with all these damn charges, this is why this man is on this round table. There should be no discussion. This is one sick ass nigga. So yeah, uh, the faded Don Flamingo video. <laughs> damn, bro. Now y'all know damn well what might happen to this, so uh, hey. Fingers crossed. Uh, like the video for good luck, I guess. Hey, and hopefully we make it through. But anyways, man, hope y'all enjoy. And until then, I'm out this time. Yeah, I remember that nigga too. That last. Oh, that's that's that good. nigga Flamingo has been on the what's it called? Like on, at the round table, even before he started making video about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, let's take a moment to actually like acknowledge how fucking like how much work this nigga put into this yeah, shit bro. this one right here you know this was a big problem. nah like in all his videos bro yeah. like nigga this shit i know this shit take mad fucking long dude because i think i ain't gonna lie that, that we reacted to i think this is like the longest one yeah yeah 41 minutes 42 basically like I nigga never, nigga exhibit e i never got to exhibit e yeah. Hey man, but anyway, that will wrap it up for this dope flamingo ass, crazy ass nigga, man. You know that nigga ain't game up. Yeah, I feel like like low key the the reason why there's that many exhibits too is because how long the show is. Yeah. 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 Like how much case that you got on the sand, bro? Did you saw how much money the case, bro? How much yeah. fucking 
Like violence. Yeah, yeah. 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 bro. Nigga was basically a drug lord. But well, that's it for this video, man. We hope you guys enjoyed, man. Leave a comment down below where you guys want us to check out next, and we'll get right to it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and subscribe if you. God, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.